The Castelli Romani and the city of Ariccia are located 15 miles south of Rome in a hilly landscape of volcanic origin. The Castelli Romani Regional Park is a protected area with woods, Mount Albano, and two lakes, Nemi and Castel Gandolfo. Historically, the area has been home to the Latin people since pre-Roman times and preserves a rich cultural and natural heritage. The city of Ariccia is located in the heart of the Alban Hills. According to mythology, Virbius, son of the founder of Athens, Greece, established the ancient city. Virbius was protected and guided by Diana, the goddess of hunting, for whom the woods are dedicated. Bernini was the most extraordinary proponent of the Baroque arts. His presence in the area was requested by two popes of the 17th century, Urban VIII Barberini and Alessandro VII Chigi. These popes selected Castel Gandolfo as the papal summer home to escape Rome's heat and its unhealthy climate. Bernini was first in charge of the architectural planning and then a total restructuring of the town of Ariccia, bought in 1661 by the Chigi family for its proximity to where the pope lived. Pope Alexander VII commissioned Bernini to build a new church, the Collegiata della Sunta. The artist drew inspiration from the Pantheon, creating a Baroque version in which he represents the unity of the arts, the organic fusion of architecture, painting, sculpture, and decorative arts for symbolic and communicative purposes. The palazzo itself, previously owned by the Savelli family, underwent a substantial redesign to become a sumptuous Baroque residence. Cardinal Flavio Chigi, the nephew of Alexander VII and whose portrait is in the exhibition, established the collections of the Chigi Palace with guidance from Bernini. The artist introduced the family to Baciccio, Mario de Fiori, and Carlo Maratta, themselves among the greatest artists of Roman painting of the time. Several of their works are also on exhibit in this exhibition. Bernini surrounded himself with talented artisans to realize his countless interior design projects, including fabrics, furniture, decorative objects, and frames, as well as leather wall coverings in the palace. Extremely rare today, these leather panels are decorated with Bernini designs, inspired by the Kiji heraldry, the oak and mountains, and the eight-pointed star. The most extraordinary works of Bernini design, still on display in the palace, are the two tables with cornucopias and Kiji heraldry crafted, according to artist's taste, for the Kiji family in 1663. <sighs> Bernini's contributions to the palace culminate in the famous Sanguigna drawing inside the private chapel, representing St. Joseph with the Christ Child, signed and dated 1663. In 1988, the municipality of Ariccia purchased Palazzo Chigi along with its collection from its last owner, Prince Agostino Chigi. Agostino was the son of Sigismondo Chigi and Marion Berry, forming a remarkable connection to our region. Born in Rome, Georgia, Marion was the niece of Martha Berry, founder and namesake of the college there. Marion, the daughter of an influential landowner in Alabama and Georgia, was in Italy to visit her aunt Eugenia, who was married to Prince Ruspoli of Nemi. During a visit to the Palazzo Chigi, Marion met her prince, 
and future husband. Over the years, others donated their vast private collections of Roman Baroque art to the palace. Among these paintings is a work by Bergognon, inspired by a vision of Bernini's. The Sanguis Christi, which is also on exhibit, is a painting that reflects the strong mysticism of the artist in his later years. Palazzo Chigi today represents one of the major cultural centers on the outskirts of Rome, with a permanent collection on display and numerous cultural and educational activities. Honoring the tradition of completing one's formal education with a European tour, Palazzo Chigi hosted a pilot program with Auburn's College of Human Sciences in 2002. The late Marco Antonini, whose family worked extensively with the previous owner to keep the palace spirit alive, secured the partnership with Auburn. Soon after, with the guidance of Interlinea, Palazzo Chigi became the permanent home of the Joseph S. Bruno Auburn Abroad in Italy program. The 12-week curriculum is named for the entrepreneur and humanitarian, who was a first-generation Italian-American and founder of the Alabama-based grocery store chain that also bore his name. Aricha, for its history, unique location, culture, and culinary traditions, offers a unique international educational experience. To date, almost a thousand Auburn students have undertaken their modern grand tour here, a starting point to discover Italy, its diversity and traditions, and the unique artistic and cultural heritage of Western civilization.